was supposed to be hung, which was up in plain view. Furthermore, you can clearly see the rip and the tears, that this was completely ripped off the wall. And there's a lot here, everything from tracking receipts with Health Canada, this was ripped like this. I mean, how could you miss this being stapled up on the wall? But they could find it so much so that they could bring it up here. We're about to show you the damage, but I mean, this is what they brought up. I mean, you're talking about six years of paperwork, and they brought it up, and they did. There wasn't that there was a problem with it. You know, they didn't actually say there was a problem with it at all. Uh, what they did was uh, cut the plants down and apologized to me afterwards, and um, and they left the paperwork up here so that I wouldn't be able to show you uh, where it was hanging. That said, like I said, I have the previous videotaped evidence, plus I'm going to show you the pinholes where you can see, as I said, it took many times to puncture different holes through here to be able to get through so many layers of paper plus the PVC uh, into the wall. So uh, anyway, let's go downstairs and take a look at what the damage that these, uh, these officers did in, in, in the line of their great duty that they seem to need to do. Um, I, I'm very disappointed that they could uh, they could supposedly miss this as a medical exemptee's house. Um, I don't believe that it was missed as that. Everybody needs to remember I, I approached the police board um, not more than a week and a half ago and my house has now been chopped down by the police. Um, and a simple story okay. by them. Now we're um, downstairs. First off, that's what I, one of the most important things is having phoned ADT and ADT security telling me that one, it was a panic button and two, that these motion sensors, like up here on the wall, um, weren't picking up any movement in the house. Anybody who owns a, a, a security system understands that motion sensors pick all this stuff up. They pick, pick up body movement in the house, anything more than 40 pounds. Furthermore, the police, they felt the need of a legal exemptee, they felt the need that They set the ladies. See that? Hey. Alright. Um, let me just kill this fan here. Go in now. Well, okay, here's some of the damage. As you can see, the cops knowingly. These plants, as much of the issue as what it is, the fact that the cops did not have the right to cut this. And you can tell that they were severed right at the base, which is something rippers normally would do, but rippers don't leave the plant behind. And this is what happened. And they've done this for all my mothers. You can see this nice big plant here. Look at the buzz that we're going on this one. Look at them. Please do zoom in and take a look. Because this is what they cut down, this is what they took away from me. This is what would have been, you know, potentially a pound of weed. A pound of my medication was cut by police from this barrel today. And the thank you card that's been just demonstrated and the audio tape that's been played during this series shows you what the police did. And this is what they're doing to legal SMPs. Not only these plants, but when we take these big ones aside, we can look over here and we can see they also took their time to go through and take a lot of small flowering plants. See the little buds? So these are all a bunch of small ones. They decided to chop them down like how they felt they wanted to chop them down. And then all of a sudden, apparently, guess what? They realized we're legal. Um, what I'm going to ask my friends to do, once I get these out of the way, is to come in for a second. And you can actually see here that this blue Romulan was stepped on. This was a mother plant. This was actually stepped on by, a, by an officer. Uh, clearly with no regard, and just before getting hacked, was decided to be allowed to let live. If we stand it back up, you can see this is one of the mothers and one of the well-growing plants. Uh, we can recover this plant. This isn't a problem. Right now, these are all shocked and messed up right now because the, uh, the cops are in here today and have uh, done a full search on the house as well. Um, of course, they're not going to admit to that. And they've snapped this bottom arm. It's been snapped off. 
However, I'm going to tie that off and I'm going to make sure that it, uh, it recovers as best I can. Um, as you can see, the, the main thing is they've left these plants here, and then all along the back here, they've left these plants. So when you really want to sum it all up, with the footage that I've shown before, is basically that uh, they've taken, um, I'd say they've taken about half of my crop by what they've just done. Uh, they've seized half and it's gone. Um, this will continue, of course, this will, uh, this will evolve, but um, the majority of my medicine is gone and apparently I can seek compensation. But the one thing the police didn't have the right to do was to take it. Um, my paperwork that they said wasn't put up, I'd like my camera people to look at these staples and to see the pink paper stuck underneath the staples. That pink paper matches up with the federal papers that I showed earlier. Those federal papers were what were stapled right here that the police apparently couldn't see when they came in the room. But they had the ability to destroy not only this room, as much as they have, but what I'm about to show you next. on the ground here. Police just went ahead and left what they wanted um, on the ground. Nothing I can do with this stuff that's left over. Um, what I would suggest for medical users out there, because this stuff was in the middle of a PK spike, I don't suggest doing anything other than a water extraction for the trichomes. Um, and even that is still, um, you know, that's about the safest route you can take at this point. It's the route that I have to take, is to take all this and turn it into uh, water extraction for trichomes, uh, illegal or not. The police came in here illegally and cut them down. Um, and again, as people can see, I really want this to be understood. Okay, this is what we're talking about, them cutting down. No grower has cut their plants that look this nice, cut them down. I'm just gonna close this door here because it's making a lot of noise. So no growers who have plants this big are going to cut them down. No growers at all. Additionally, as we know, as I'm putting up here, I'm showing you guys a recent nutrients video. Now the recent nutrients video shows you all the new nutrients that are there. So why would a grower cut them down? They wouldn't. And the police have admitted to cutting this down. This is what my loss is. So when you want to look at the value, Please look at this for the value, because they cut down three. Well, they cut down two plants this size, and I've shown you the other room. I've shown you the damage to the house, and I've also shown you some of the things that are suspect of whether they searched the house because there was nobody here at the time. However, there's numerous contacts from ADTs, motion sensors, um, and I've got all those times and contacts for all those who have ADT systems and motion sensors. Please understand that all of that is recorded and timed and dated by your security company. You request that through your lawyer and you defend yourself. So right now, what the Abbotsford police can be notified is that they're put on notice. They've come into a legal exemptee grow room and they've chopped down medication of a legal exemptee for no justification and no cause. They moved in here and they cut them down and they cut down 50% of what I was doing and 50% of what my partner was doing. So there was no justification for what they did. So I now ask all to stand and go ahead and unite, especially med users, stand up because this could be you next. Because this wasn't rippers. Rippers don't leave these behind. They take them with them, I promise you that. Let's make sure that this stops now and now we do something now because I tell you other people are coming in and they're stepping up and they're saying Jason let's do something now let's put an end to this now I know a lot of people are getting ripped I know a lot of questions are coming out about things now I'm questioning why the police just got in my house I'm questioning how the police got into my house I don't know I'm seeking those answers and so is my attorney and I can't speak much more about legal affairs because I have lawyered up.
So 